Hello everyone, welcome back to Sweet It In. So man, in the last one, a lot of stuff kind of happened. We basically got the help of the Dragon Knights secured. So now our army is even bigger than before. Unfortunately, we lost Black, who was Futch's dragon. He can't stay in the Dragon Knights anymore without one, so we've taken him in. We've also recruited our highest uh, blacksmith that we have. So now we can sharpen our levels to the final level, which is level 16. I haven't done that yet, but I probably should go do that. Uh, we'll do that a bit later. First of all, now though, we can progress the story. Now, if you remember in the last one, we had talk a little bit around the place that there's a spy that has infiltrated our army. Now, we still don't know who that is. And we also have found out that Victor has been captured along with uh, a noble person up to the north that we're going to go ahead and try to rescue. Now, I kind of put that off to do the recruitment in the last one, so now we're going to progress with the rescue, and to do that, you just talk to Matthew at this point. Commander Tyr, everything is ready. All right, let's go. So you, if you do this now, you're going to have a major battle, so if you're not ready, go ahead and do the things you need to do. When you're ready, go ahead and talk to Matthew. All right, here we go. Now, we were going to do some maneuvers first, but and then after that, we were going to go take the army to rescue Victor. So I guess we're doing this first. All troops will now head north to attack the Imperial forces. What? So suddenly? I thought this was just a drill. Mm-hmm. See, we, we kind of conned it as a drill in order to kind of ferret out the spy. So I, I, we don't know who it is. We have no idea. But we're hoping that this will work. Matthew's probably watching very carefully. So we're actually going to attack them from here. The Imperial Army will think so too. We mustn't miss this opportunity. We will attack the North immediately. Wow, we're just going for it. A surprise attack. No wonder there was so much equipment for a drill. We will now head North, Commander Tyr. Please confirm. Well, I mean, you pretty much have to. You don't have a choice. Alright. Master Griffith, the Liberation Army! Huh? Yeah, I know, I know. They're out training today. Ah, so they see us, but they think we're just training, so they weren't really preparing. They're suddenly attacking us! Yes, I know, I know. What? Do you mean to say that our spy was mistaken? Oh my god, what shall I do? How far have the Liberation Army advanced? They're right in front of our eyes! Oh, <laughs> this worked! This is a serious problem. Alright, you go report to General Kasim while I try to stall them. Right, remember, Kasim Hazil is here, holed up in this place, so that's why we're really attacking. He's one of the last generals we can get. So here we are, at the Battle of the Northern Checkpoint. So what's going to happen here is they're going to attempt to stall. Now, this isn't the entire army, this is just the front forces at the, at the start of the checkpoint, so this is not nearly everybody. <laughs> oh, excuse me, but I must say, it's pretty late for a breakfast. <laughs> They're trying to stall us out, it's not gonna work. It's not your business. In any case, we're badly mismatched. We surrender. Do you really? If we can avoid bloodshed. Hmm, I mean, there aren't very many of them. Maybe we should do that. Of course, but some soldiers may prefer not to surrender, so give me some time. No, no, no. He's definitely trying to stall us. This is a ploy to stall us. We'd better attack at once. Give out the signal. So you might think this is a piddly fight, but don't worry. I'm going to give you a surefire way to hopefully win this fight and all the ones in the future. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. So we haven't had a major battle in a long time, and a lot of things have changed in our army. So here's what we're going to do. Once you have the Dragon Knights under your control, it's almost impossible to lose unless you do something real bad. So here's the commands that I'm going to use probably for the rest of the battles coming forth. So the first thing we're going to do is use the Dragon Knights no matter what. And they're under others. Now, they really don't work that well against Bo, so you want to kind of pray that you don't get it, but you don't have to spy beforehand. Don't waste the turn. Even if they do use Bo, they just won't do as much damage. You won't lose the soldiers. So it should be okay. Behold the power of my dragon. Watch this. Here they come! Down from the sky and everything. Now, you, you might think that that would have done more. It could have been that they had Bo charged up, so we don't know for sure. However, it's still a surefire thing, so I'm going to go ahead and do that first at all times from now on. Now we're going to go ahead and use the spies. We have to go find the ninjas. They always work, and we've got three of them. So we're going to use Cage first to figure out what they're going to do. 
and so on and so forth. I mean, you guys pretty much know how this works. The enemy's next plan is magic attack. Okay. So we're going to use bow. Because that's what you do. Go ahead, elves. See what elves can do with arrows. Here we go. I mean, this is this is probably just going to be a massacre. Oh no. If you if you use this tactic, basically use all the ninjas till you run out if you have a longer battle. And then use merchants to try to recruit some soldiers, and then use the thieves. You won't lose at this point with the dragon knights on your side. That that usually takes maybe three rounds. I can't believe we did it in two. We didn't even get to see um, Griffith's charge. Congratulations, we won. But this one's not supposed to be a difficult battle. I thought that if I joined the Imperial Army, I was all set for life. I was wrong. You were wrong. All right. So are we going to take the checkpoint now? Hell, I guess we lost. All right, all right, we surrender. Lives are precious things. This guy doesn't seem so bad, does he? Seems like he has a good head on his shoulders. Don't cut off his head. You know better than that now. Recruit him, of course. Join you and betray the Imperial Army? Promise me one thing. Will you spare my troops? Of course. I guarantee their lives. Then I'll agree to your, pro your proposition. Whether I'm fighting for the Imperials or the Liberation Army makes no difference to me. As long as I can eat. Oh. M Master Griffith, we will follow you. What wonderful men you are. Thank you, everybody. He does seem like a, a good guy. Like, his men are loyal to him, too. So we've recruited Griffith and his small army, but it's still something. Commander Tyr, we will march north before the enemy finds out that we have taken the northern checkpoint. I forgot. I thought Kasim was in the northern checkpoint, but he's not. He's beyond. So they were just um, monitoring the border. So they don't know yet that this has happened. I'll give you a battalion to attack the fortress of Duha. I understand. So Humphrey, I'll assign another battalion to you. Take the fortress of Rakan. So these guys are going to go out past the checkpoint to the north to take these small fortresses in our stead. That's why Lapont and Humphrey will be gone, and I did say that in the last episode. They're going to be gone for a while. As protector of the north, Kasim Hazir will be forced to send reinforcements to the respective fortresses. Meanwhile, we will sneak into Moravia Castle and rescue Warren and Victor. This mission will be carried out by yours truly, Commander Tyr, Kasimi, Kryn, Griffith, and three others. I don't mind being a decoy, but what if the reinforcements attack us? We'll have no chance of winning. If the Imperial troops arrive, retreat immediately. Oh, so they're just going to draw them out. They're going to go there to make a scene. Draw out the soldiers away from the main part. And run for it. We won't have time to sneak into Moravia Castle. Don't worry, we too have asked for support. Support? The Dragon Knights? No, but they're still a dependable force. Those are the details of our plan. Oh, I guess Matthew's not going to tell us who the other force is yet. Please take action immediately. Commander Tyr, please select the party that will break into Moravia Castle. Oh gosh, I should have thought of this. Um, I forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot that you have to take Kryn with you. Gah, so annoying. So in that case, and Kasumi, um, that's fine. I think I'm going to put some stuff on Kasumi. She'll be all right. Um, I'm not worried about her. Who do I want in the stead of this, though? Probably what I'll do... Oh, gosh, i got to think about this now. I totally forgot about Kryn. I always do this. I always forget. Um, we should probably take Cleo back, because she has our flowing rune, and I kind of want to keep her with. I want to keep one familiar with me at all times, like a familiar face. And Cleo has been very good to us. I don't like having all three long members in the party. I like to have a middle in the back. But maybe if I take some shorts... We'll, we'll be okay. Um, so as far as short range... Oh, dude, I wanted to take Clive as well, but now we can't. So Clive's going to have to sit out this one. That stinks. Stupid Kryn. I don't need his ass. We've got Kasumi with us. Like, she's better than him. I'll probably take Ronnie back, although I know you guys are probably sick of seeing her. I could also take Pesmerga in her wake. Um, I wouldn't say Pesmerga is better than her, as long as he hits... He's better. <laughs> but you, as you've seen, sometimes he has a problem doing that. However, he is outfitted, and you guys didn't get to see him much. So maybe I will take him with. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll do it. We'll take Pesmerga. Um, and I might take Ronnie back. Uh, yeah, I really don't have really too much else. 
Hang tight to Eileen. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see her, but I don't have what I need for her just yet. So to make her really, really great. So just hang on to that. We could take Ronnie or we could take we could take Valeria back. But again, she's under leveled. So since Crin and Kasumi are already under leveled, I don't want to have too many under leveled people in the party. It's just not good for where we're going. So I think Ronnie's going to have to be it. All right, darling, you're with me. Fine. So this should be all right. Uh, oh, oh. I'm not looking forward to outfitting a lot of these people. See, they, they bring you here right away, and some of them don't have any equipment on them. What do you want with me? Griffith, you're going to help us sneak into Moravia Castle. What do you mean? Griffith, I want you to pretend that you captured me. Commander Tyr will enter the castle with us, disguised as one of your men. I see a ruse. I don't mind, but do you really trust me? Hmm... Think of the fate of your men should anything happen to me. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's blackmail, is it? Good. That works out. It's true that I would make an excellent present for your former leader, but you are not a man who would betray your own men. He doesn't seem to be, does he? You see right through me, don't you? All right, I'm in. Now that that's settled, let's hurry on to Moravia Castle, Commander Tyr. Wait a minute. I'm not ready. This automatically puts you in here. But don't worry, you're right on the world map. So you can come back into Moravia if you want and get that chest note that we just passed as well. Don't leave that behind. Old book, volume seven. Don't leave it. Gotta get it. And then since we've been here, we can teleport right here. So let's go ahead and go back because, oh my god, look at Crin's HP! Ho <laughs> ho! This is going to be fun. Because you know what? I'm not going to do anything for him. I don't really care, to be honest. Um, I will probably give him, like, some piddly armor, but I am not going to bother with half the crap he's got. I'm just not, guys. <laughs> I don't- I suggest you don't be like me in this case. Alright, just don't. Um, let's go ahead and go up to floor two because I think I dumped Humphreys and a few of other people's armor up there So I want to see what I can grab that will be useful so I don't have to spend any money Let's take a look Hello, how are you rock? Fine, thanks All right, let's see now first of all Let me just get rid of the old book that I just picked up and leave it here for safekeeping Does anyone else have anything that I need to drop? Yes, Pesmerga has books we don't need that. He's got window settings as well. Let's put that off him. Ronnie, what about you, darling? No, you just got a lot of medicine, which, okay, just hang on to that. Um, what do we have? All right. Wow, Pez doesn't have the full helmet? Well, I'm gonna give him that. Well, no, Cleo could use it too. Cleo, darling. You deserve it. You've done a lot of work for me. Uh, Master Rope? That's for Kasumi. Sorry, but she gets the best stuff first. Corinne, I don't honestly give a shit. Full armor. Uh, unfortunately, Humphrey was wearing this, but no one else can wear it except heavy hitters. Really heavy. So, um, nothing there. Um, Kasumi can use this. I'm just gonna put whatever Kasumi has on Corinne and just trickle it down. Star earrings, no one can wear. Guard ring. Go ahead. Um, is that really all? That's pretty much it. All right, give me two seconds to finagle this, and I will, and I'll be right back with you, and I'll let you know what I've done. All right, so we're back. So here's what I've done. I went ahead and sharpened Tyr's weapon to level 16. He's the only one that got that right now because it's very expensive to do that, and um, I didn't want to mess with anything else. I, I, I didn't have as much money as I wanted, so again, I'm going to have to go off screen and grind, but that's fine. So, um... Basically, I just rummaged some things around. Kasumi should be fine. She's going to level up quickly. Krin is also going to level up quickly. However, he's got crap on him. I just gave him whatever Kasumi's hand-me-downs were. They're not that great, and I don't care. I did sharpen his weapon to level 10. He was level 2 before, which wouldn't have done anything. Uh, I got him to 10, which isn't expensive. I sharpened Kasumi up to 14. Uh, and basically, the formation is as such. Uh, since Kryn is so, so low level, I'm having Pesmerga uh, defend him. Ronnie's gonna defend Kasumi, and Tyr's gonna defend Cleo in the front. So that should be fine. Uh, if he gets... Oh, whoops. Didn't want to do that, actually. Um, if if Kryn dies, and he might, I I'm not worried about it. I'll just keep, you know, using medicine after the battle is over. So it should be okay. And I say should. <laughs> We're gonna hope. That's going to be okay. One or two fights is probably going to get him up to a point where he won't be one-shotted in this place. So, I mean, it's fine. I totally forgot. I hate when I forget when someone like Corinne has to come with you. It's such a pain in the ass. All right, so if we're lucky, we can go back to the northern checkpoint. And we should be able to because we've been there once before. So let's go. 
and we'll just walk through and back to where we were going. Are you going to let me go through? Oh, does it not let you? I can't remember if these are actually doors. Oh, no, they are. It looks like a wall, doesn't it? I love how I tried to walk around. Jeez, don't do what I just did. All right, now out here on the world map, we're going to go north to Moravia, but I just want you to know that there's earth golems around here on this world map, and they drop something called the Master Garb. It's the best armor in the game. So if I were you, I would go ahead and try to get some of those. These are mirages. They can drop speed rings. Um, well, I guess we're going to take this opportunity to see if Kryn's going to die or not. <laughs> I probably should just use a rune, but I want to use a rune for the things we have coming up, to be honest. So I probably don't want to waste it now. Let's just do it and see what happens. He might die, he might not. You know, the world is a weird place where anything can happen. Alright, Tears can be doing some really good damage now. Boom. Poor Pesmerga. One day he'll hit something. Did he just do one damage? I'm, I'm digging this. Amazing. Um, <laughs> so good. The day when Pesmerga hits something, don't worry, it'll be real good when that day happens. Oh my god, he just went from 7 to 12 in that one fight, so I mean, there's that. So yeah, I would fight around here. Uh, oh. Oh no, I forgot about the rabbit birds. Yeah, I don't want to even mess with this. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to waste this, Jesus. Did I- oh, did I not sleep? Ooh, I'm going to have to go back and do that. Never mind, so I'm free to use all the runes I want because I have to run back and stay in the inn because I forgot to reset magic. I thought it actually reset, but I forgot that it doesn't. Wow, dumb. This is what happens when you take like two days off from an LP like this. Get rid of them. This is so much shit. Bye. Holy crap, no. I don't want none of that. Maybe we'll get lucky and get like one Master Guard, but we probably won't. I think the drop rate's pretty small on it. Like most things in here. Alright. <laughs> 12 to 20. Holy crap, money. I like money. Okay, be right back, and I'll I'll see you guys right here after I've after I've done the thing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought when I saved last that I also stayed. Apparently, I didn't. So yeah, this is the place to fight around for master garbs. I probably won't do that right at this moment, just for the sake of the LP. But I will be coming back here to grind for money and those robes right after this. You can you can bet. So here's Moravia. And now the fortress of Rakan. The Liberation Army is making fools of us. I'll teach them a lesson. Oh, oops. Yeah, better hide. Jeez, that was close. Are they gone? Yeah, it's okay now. Alright, so after you see that... Why, Sir Griffith, I'm glad you survived. We heard you were attacked. So they have heard of it by now. It was hell, but they should have underestimated me. Look at who I have here. This is Matthew, military strategist of the Liberation Army. I took him prisoner. Let me in. I'd like to report to General Cassine. Boy, this is sneaky. Yes, sir. I will inform him immediately. Please wait a minute. <laughs> is this really gonna work? If it doesn't, I'll escape by myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, why did we invite him? God, I hate this dude. Everyone hates him. What a thing to say, Crane. You'd leave Master Tear behind. <laughs> I don't know. Kasumi wouldn't do that. She's good. Please enter and proceed to the waiting room. All right. Oh, it's fancy in here. Commander Tyr, while Griffith and I are in the waiting room, you must get to Victor and Warren. The prison should be on the top floor of the castle. You must hurry. I'm not sure how long I can fool General Cassim. All right, I'll do my best. If they capture us, we're dead. Let's hurry. Get, uh, don't even want to talk to you right now. Don't leave this behind if you want to do collection. Pink paint is right here. <gasps> you know what I forgot? Oh, no, I forgot something, actually. Um, first of all, I forgot where to go. Oh, god, these are in here? Nice. Well, I'm gonna try to fight everything. Um, it's gonna be hard going, because you are probably gonna get a lot of things in here like this. You know what? This is a lot of crap, though. So guess what I'm doing? <laughs> if it's more than, like, four things, I'm just gonna use hell as best I can. Wow, they're fa- Bye! <laughs> Prepare to see Kryn ass up a lot. I forgot, the hounds and, and this guy, they're super fast. So you can see they even outspeed Tyr. Not Kasumi, but Tyr, because he's the second to go. 
Well, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> I should just leave him like that the entire time. Honestly, I do not care. Fine. I should have gotten crap medicine, too. You know what? I didn't even think about it. Um, Ronnie's got a few. She's fine. She can use them. Get up. <laughs> There is a, a soldier, I believe, around here somewhere, that right here, that you can talk to and actually rest. So I'm going to rest right now because I just used hell. So this will help you. If you want to just, like, level and get money in this corridor, you can keep coming back here and saving and resting, which is really convenient. So this is, like, the perfect place to grind money and levels if you want. Because you can just keep resetting your magic, okay? All right. So I think we don't want to go up there. I think that's where they're actually talking. Oh, God. Okay, fine. This should be okay. It's just one Vegas. No big whoop in here. I believe that there's elite soldiers in here. And if there are, they drop rage runes if you want that. We'll probably see them at some point. Don't go in there. I think we want to go to the west. Yes, this is the way. We're going to kind of go around. Taikiku Ware. I don't know if anyone can use that. Let's take a look real quick. Anyone? Oh, a, a couple of people can. Ronnie, you don't have this, darling. Boink. Sorry, but Ronnie gets before anyone else. You know what I'm saying? She's a good girl. All right, let's give her that. I think Krin also has ninja suit, so no one else needs that. And Kasumi has something better than a ninja suit. All right, I have to just remember where everything is because there's a lot of like little side doors that are just going to get you all convoluted and into a lot of battles if you don't know where to go. I think we have to go north three times. Oh, oh, God, that's so much stuff. That's so much stuff. I, uh, this is going to be crappy. Bah. <laughs> Watch Kryn die again? I think so. Kasumi will go, and then we'll see if Kryn gets the shank. Bye. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Honestly, can't, can't be bothered. I think it's hilarious, because I just really don't like the character that much. They really set it up so that you don't like that character. Who really did level him to take him to the end game? And I think, I feel like the game's developers knew that. And they were probably like, nah. We'll just put a big, big wrench in all of it. Here you go. Now you gotta use this guy. Honestly, we should just leave him dead. <laughs> We, honestly, we should. Fine. Ridiculous. He's not getting any AXP unless he lives, so there's that. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, through here. And right here is actually the way to go. It doesn't look like you couldn't go there, but you can. Oh, really? Hi. Um, let's try it. You know what? Let's try. Let's get rid of something. I'll get rid of the Magus. Let's see if we can actually attack things and live. Pesmerga, are you gonna hit something today? That would be great if you could. I'm excited for that moment. Let's do it. Pesmerga, a beast. Accuracy, not well, not good. If you can get him to hit though, good on ya. Kinda shot myself in the foot by taking him, but that's all right. Oof, Ronnie, you're right. Oh, did she get silenced? She did. That's okay, she can still use her rune, because it's a physical type. Boy, really? Boy, howdy! He does not want to hit nothing. I don't think he's hit anything yet. Which is, it is normal for him to have bad accuracy, but this is not normal for him to be this bad. It's the RNG again. God, there's real good money in here, though. Alright, so a balcony. Come out here. This is kind of cool. I like how they showed this. All right, um, so after the balcony, we're just gonna go this way. I think we gotta go up to the, ugh, these wolves. They're real dangerous. They go so fast. No, let's, you know what? Let's fight it out, it's okay. I'm just gonna use fingertips because it's just, I have a lot of them, so I'll just do that. Just to get rid of something. Um. Yeah, just, just do what you can. And hope Kryn doesn't get the big bite. He probably will. Let me know if you've, like, leveled up Kryn to take him to endgame. I need to know if anyone's done this now. Let me know how he performed. 45! He's going up in the world! It's not one damage anymore. He's doing good. 
<laughs> Pez America. Oh, I, I sat here and talked him up so many times because he's one of my favorite characters in this game and Suikoden 2 as well. And he's just standing there doing nothing. What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I've never seen him be that bad. Uh, Mega Medicine here? Good, we'll need it because Krin keeps dying. <laughs> Maybe they knew that. Alright, so this is going to happen automatically. We can't cross this. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Do something, will you? Alright, here we go. <laughs> Thanks. And apparently you're just a really good tightrope walker that can make this happen. Going through here. I think this is a needle. Yep. Grab that. And then come out on the balcony. Pretty straightforward. Oh. No, you know what? I'm determined to do this. Because I, if I use if I use hell, I won't be able to know if Pismerga can actually hit something. <laughs> I gotta know. I just I just have to. It's really important. Oh god, please hit something. You know, if you hit something once, I'll be okay with the world. Don't need her to do a rune. You attack. You use your rune. Go ahead. I'm so sad. I sit here. I sat here like he's a beast. He's freaking great. I mean, you've seen his attack power. He's super strong. But come on, dude. You gotta hit something. Maybe he's just trolling me. He's not having any of it. Kruin missed, but I'm not surprised. It's fine. Wow. I mean, right now he's just sitting there dying. That sucks. Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> and I'm gonna free will after that. Because I'm an idiot. 702 on a critical. That's great. That's really good. Come on, Pesmerga. Even Kryn out here hitting something. Wow. Well, I'm gonna have to eat my words now. After this, you guys aren't gonna let me take him anywhere. And I don't blame you. Uh, is everyone okay? Other than Pesmerga? <laughs> good Christ. It's okay. We'll make it. I guess, it, yeah, if he can't hit anything in this dungeon, I'm not gonna take him anywhere else. That's sad. Look, here we are. Oh my god, look who's with them as well. We did it, Master Tear. This must be it. You're late, Tear. I've been waiting forever for you to show up. I'm sorry, we had a problem with everyone dying. <laughs> Why don't you stay a little longer and cool off? Uh oh, Krin's dead. What did you say? Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Catch me if you can. Master Tear, I've opened the lock. Oh! Whoa! I, I was just kidding. You know, slap him in the face. You must be Commander Tear. I'm Warren. Thank you for coming for us. You're welcome. Didn't I tell you they'd come, Warren? You certainly did. We don't have much time. Let's hurry. So unfortunately, they take you out of the scene. So I know you saw a chest and Vincent there, but we can't talk to them just yet. However, Warren does recruit now. We'll have to come back later for that. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Matthew Silverberg? Three, maybe four years. Why did you leave the Imperial Army? Because of that incident? That is one reason, but more because I dislike myself intensely when I am fighting. And yet you joined the Liberation Army. Strange man, why don't you come back to us? I'd rather not execute you as a traitor. You needn't worry about that. What do you mean? General Kasim, we're surrounded by the Liberation Army. Aha, aha. I see. Those attacks on the fortress were a decoy. You're getting rusty, Matthew. When the reinforcements return, the Liberation Army will be wiped out. If they return, that is. What's that? We have just received word that the troops sent out to protect the fortresses were ambushed by the Jousten Army. Aw, oh, man, here it comes. Sweet it in two, fans. Get ready. What? Why those? You did this, Matthew. That is correct. I sent Jousten a letter informing them of Imperial Army plans to invade their land. So that's the city-state of Jousten in Suikoden 2. The city-state of Jousten is hungry for this empire. It's quite easy to manipulate them. Wow, Matthew. Traitor, you dare sell out this land to the city-state. I have no such ambitions. I merely manipulated them. In no way have I joined hands with Jousten. It is likely that the city-state will temporarily occupy this region. That's a small price to pay. But the Liberation Army will permit no more than that. Damn you to hell, you conniving turncoat! Good job, Matthew. Anything to win. Master Matthew, are you alright? We've pretty much taken care of business outside. Yo. <laughs> How you doing there, Humphrey? 
looks like we're just in time. General Kasim Hazil, now it is my turn to make a request. Please surrender. The ideal empire you once envisioned has changed beyond recognition. The emperor himself, to whom you pledge loyalty, has changed too. It's true, that's what everyone's been saying. Do you still plan to cling to the past? I still... What are you gonna do? Milich is here! Maybe he can talk some sense. You are a stubborn man, Kasim, like the rest of the five great Imperial generals. Think about it. Do you really think that the Emperor is the same man we once knew? I, I don't... You know he isn't. You're one of the Emperor's loyal followers. Isn't it your duty, then, to try to convince him to mend his wrongful ways? Yeah, listen to Milich, he knows. If only Tio was here to tell him, too. The five great generals were unable to prevent the Empire from deteriorating. Therefore, the time has come to help the Emperor open his eyes. Do you not agree? What do you say? All right, I surrender. I'm glad you understand, General Kasim. He's joined. And it doesn't tell you at this point, um, but Taggart, the person that came to the castle in the first place to alert us, has also recruited at this point. Doesn't tell you that though. We must retreat immediately, Commander Tyr. If we wait around too long, the city state will attack us. Yeah, we we better get out of here. It sounds dangerous. What? Nothing for me to do? Oh, shucks. I was looking forward to a good rumble. No, Victor, there's plenty for you to do because unfortunately, Pesmerga has not passed the test, has he? So we're gonna have to replace Pesmerga, I think, with Victor. Oh, no. I tried. I really tried. All right. Um, so when you're back here on the world map, here's something. Don't go back to HQ just yet. At this point in time, there's someone we can actually recruit at the northern checkpoint. Oh, really? No, you know what? No. I'll give Pesmerga this chance. If he hits something here, maybe he can stay. Come on. Kryn hit something, dude. D oh, Ronnie missed too. The mirages are hard to hit, to be fair. But come on. Pesmerga? There we go. He did it. Is that enough to save him? You know what? I'm going to give him one more chance, and I'll let you know when that is in a minute. But don't worry. I don't want people to be like, geez, why are you keeping around that guy? He can barely hit anything. I guess I just have a soft spot for him. I don't know. Anyway, before you go back to HQ, come to the Northern Checkpoint, because to recruit these people, you actually have to actually come from this side. The north side, you have to come down from. Oh. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna fight you, because I want your robes, please. Probably shouldn't have free-willed them. They have a ton of defense. Well, not when you get a critical hit, but... They're pretty beefy. Good job, Pismerga. See, now he knows his job is on the line. He's got the fear of God in him. Now he's actually hitting things. Um, thank goodness for that. But it probably has to do with the enemy's accuracy and evasion and not anything else. So if you come down from here, you'll see this. You won't see this if you come up from the south, all right? The time has finally come to deliver a crushing blow to those despotic imperials. We must give the Liberation Army a hand. Don't be late, Sancho. Yes, master. Who are these two? Ready, charge! Hello? Who the hell are you? We're in a hurry. The Liberation Army eagerly awaits our help. We must hurry to Moravia Castle. You're a little late, dude. M master What is it, Sancho? D -d -d this fellow... I said, what is it, Sancho? He he's Master Tyr, leader of the Liberation Army. What? My god! Please forgive my rudeness. My name is Maximilian, former commander of the late lamented Knights of Maximilian. As my final job, I'd like to lend a hand to the Liberation Army. Please, let me join, I beg you. Sure. Please grant my master his wish, sir. Please. Yeah, why not? You seem like a nice fellow. Thank you. Please watch me in my final blaze of glory. Wow. It's wonderful, isn't it, master? Alright, so you recruited Max and Sancho. They're cute. They also turn up in Suikoden 2, and there's a reference to them also in Suikoden 3. Right, now that you've done that, you can go back to HQ. So, uh, ugh, you know what? No, we're not going to go back to HQ. Once we're on the map, actually, I forgot. You can go back into Moravia now, because you actually have to. I totally forgot. I'm, like, getting ahead of myself. We have to go back up to the top of the castle to rescue Vincent. It's really ridiculous that you couldn't do that in the first place, but you can't. So we're going to go back up there to recruit Vincent and let him out and also get that chest. So I'll spare you the details and I'm going to fight my way up there to get some money and hopefully Pesmerga will prove his worth 
on the way up there. I'll let you know what happens at the top. Letting you know Pesmerga didn't do very well. <laughs> oh no, what is this? I'm trying to talk. But everyone's up to level now, so we can actually let things go here if we want. If I were you, I would not leave this behind because this is the Mother Earth Crystal. So this is the upgraded version of the Earth Rune. This is what I've been waiting for for Eileen. Sadly, you don't get it until this point in the game. So it's really, really nice. So I'm gonna put that on her and hopefully we'll take her with us. Can we open this door? Oh no, get out of here, I'm trying to duck. How about you, buddy? Oh dear, you've come to save my life. Why didn't you leave with us before? What a beautiful scene friendship is. Ah, uh, Vassan shall never forget this day as long as I live. God, what an awful creature that Kasim is, suddenly locking me up in this place. The Empire is going to hell, I tell you. What? You tear? You're the leader of the Liberation Army? My, my, why didn't you tell me sooner? Didn't we, didn't we talk to him about this before? I, Vassan, in the name of friendship, renounce my aristocratic standing and swear to stand by your side. Fine, Vincent joins. Ugh, wonderful. Alright, so now you just leave. Now, I think you can use a, a, an escape talisman here. You know what, let's find out. I'll come back here later to get more items and stuff. Can you use it? Nope. Wrecked. So uh, I'll go ahead and leave and see you back at HQ. All right, we are back. So unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because the next thing we have to do is talk to Matthew and put some things into motion. Now, I think Pesmerga is going to leave. I'm going to reformulate my party and think about what I would like. I think we're going to see Eileen coming in, which will be really uh, fun. And I'll let you know uh, when I do that. It, she'll probably be in maybe for the next one. I think we can take her with. And then um, I'm going to go ahead for now and go ahead and uh, get some more money and EXP from, uh, from Moravia. And then we'll be ready to start again. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.